G'day, I'm Tom. I'm Angus. Welcome to Smoking Dagger Barbecue. So what are we cooking today, mate? Yeah, I was thinking about doing some uh, Italian sausages. Nice, nice. Uh, the problem is I don't have any charcoal left. You mean briquettes? No, I mean charcoal, like lump charcoal. Like briquettes. Briquettes. No, like real charcoal. Consistency. Look, I don't think we're going to get very far with this. Yeah, you're right. There's only one way to settle this. Bunnings? Bunnings it is. All right. That's a good stop. All right, you smoking dagger fans, let me educate you on why briquettes are superior to lump charcoal. Point one, consistency. Consistency of appearance, consistency of burn time, consistency of output temperature. Point two, versatility. They can be used for low and slow and hot and fast in the right hands. You can use them in a minion method or in a snake method, something that lump charcoal cannot be done. And point three, most importantly, they look like cute little pillows or little potato gems. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh. Hi Smoking Dagger fans, I'm Angus and I'm telling you right now why I am team lump charcoal. Point one, reuse. There's nothing better than opening your charcoal smoker to find that you've got 50% of your fuel from the last cook ready to go, don't even need to do a thing. That's smart cooking. Point two, heat. Nothing gets hotter than a big old lump charcoal. I can do pork crackle on a lump charcoal. There's pretty much no cook that I can imagine that I can't do on lump charcoal. And point three, ancestral. It goes back to our caveman days. Cooking on wood, lump charcoal, is how we were meant to cook. And that's why I keep that tradition alive. I love that we have Luther King yelling in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm.
All right, mate, it's been a huge day of cooking. Talk me through the process and what's happened today. Yeah, look, we got out to Bunnings and we saw on the shelf there, two lots of charcoal, $25 each. We got the lump charcoal in a box and we got the briquette charcoal in a bag. Really glad that I got a double snagger there at Bunnings as well, just a little bit of treat for our efforts. We got back home, put the lump charcoal to the test, pretty surprising results. Let's talk some science on the lump charcoal then. So we're all anticipating the lump would burn faster, the cook would be quicker. Uh, today's results quite the contrary. So we had both the top and the bottom vents fully open on the Weber kettle. Uh, cook time was one hour for the snaggers. Uh, our maximum temperature also reached 130 degrees Celsius. Very unexpected results. How about the briquettes, mate? We had 230 degrees max temperature, uh, an approximate cook time of 21 minutes on the sausages. Two thirds faster cook time with the briquettes, which is a massive efficiency gain for anyone looking to save time on their barbecue. But what it really comes down to at the end of the day is taste. What tasted better? Was it the lump charcoal or was it the briquettes? Tom, what do you think? Yeah, very close competition in my opinion. I'm gonna go with the briquettes. So although the lump charcoal, the snag has had a better mouthfeel, I think the taste overall, the underlying flavors within the sausage were just brought out that little bit better from the quicker cook and the briquettes. Gus, what do you think, mate? Lump still provided a better taste at the end of the day. Although there was a huge efficiency gain in getting those temps up so quickly with the briquettes, I can't help beat that taste that was delivered from the lump charcoal. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I guess we're gonna have to agree to disagree today, but at least we got an experiment done. That's right, and for all of you out there who are looking to get into barbecue and don't know whether you should get lump charcoal, briquette charcoal. I guess the advice at the end of the day is get out there and try it. See what works for you. Uh, we both got some unexpected results today despite doing hundreds of cooks. But really, we wanna know what you think. Which wins here, lump or briquette? If you like the video, chuck us a comment, chuck us a like. If you don't like the video, throw some shade at us in the comments. We don't mind. Subscribe, we'll see you next time. Smoking dagger out, cheers.